Go. It's on? You can stay here. You don't have to leave. Okay. More room for me. All right. Ready? Hello, everybody. Here I am today at the beach. It's a wonderful, beautiful day. Our friend told us the water was nice and warm and it was beautiful outside. And I'm here today to talk a little about the wonderful word of our Creator, Yahweh. You know, He tells us in His Bible uh, how to have salvation and how to live forever. We're only here for a short amount of time on earth, folks. There's only a short amount of time, but we can have an eternal life in heaven. And it tells us in the scriptures how to get there, how to act, and what to do about it. What it tells us, the first thing we must do is repent and accept Yeshua, our Messiah. That's where it begins, folks. But what is righteous living all about? Because once you accept Him in your heart, something is supposed to change. The way you live, what you do. You know, we have to understand our Creator gave us this word and, and gave us the opportunity to read this word. Men have died so we can read this word, so we can have this word. Men have died so we can have it. And it tells us in this scripture, it tells us exactly how to live righteously and what righteous living is all about. You know, the blood of our Messiah was for us. He did that gift. He was hung on a tree so we could have life. And we're not just talking about life here on earth. We're talking about eternal life. We're talking about an eternity in heaven forever. Folks, what we have to do is live righteously. Unfortunately, as I'm out here on the beach and I'm seeing a lot of people and uh, their actions are not adding up to what it says in the Bible, to what it says in the scriptures. He died for us. He ain't died for y'all. He ain't died for us. Exactly. Right. Exactly. He died for y'all. The Jehovah's and nothing like he ain't died for us. Though. He, he died for all of us. He right. died for everybody. Right. You know, he took away our sins with his blood. Right. And he tells us clearly in his scriptures, it says in Ezekiel 18:23, I do not take pleasure in the light of the death of the wicked. He says, man, I take pleasure in those that repent. I do not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. I want them to repent and understand what it is. Why his son died for us. He tells us in his scripture. What? He said our sins. I'm going to say our sins. I'm going to die for our sins. For our sins, exactly. He died for our sins. That's right. So what is sin? What is sin? He, 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 brought back the, the life. he brought us back, we're born again, we're renewed, but what right. is sin? According to the Bible, sin is transgression of the law, transgression of the Torah, transgression of the law, living lawlessly, that's what sin is. And Yeshua died for us, so we no longer have that desire to live against the word of our Creator. Unfortunately, a lot of people today do not understand the word of our Creator because they enjoy living against His word. Even though Yeshua died for our sins, He went to the cross and shed His blood for us. People have not repented. There's still time left, folks. Time's running out, but there's still time left. We have to repent. We have to appreciate what He did for us. He took His life by choice so we can have life. Not this physical life, we're only here for a short amount of time, for eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. His blood for us. What a great trade. Unfortunately today, folks, as you look around me here, you see a lot of people living a lawless life. They have no interest in what our Creator has to say. We need to ask ourselves, when is the last time we picked up our Creator's word and read it to see what it says? And when have we compared it to our life? Are we living according to our Creator's words? Yeshua died for us so we would understand righteousness and what it's about. Jeremiah said the new covenant is, it comes off paper and on our heart. On our heart. How many people have the word of the Bible, the word of Creator on their heart? How many people even know what it is? How many people have even looked at the commandments of our Creator? Let Him talk. Let him talk. What do you got to say? Your country, your country, your country over in Israel, 
and it's fighting our, our American people here. Because your country over there fighting us. My country. And, and, and better. My country. You know where my country is? My country is right there up and in heaven. States, and that's where I'm storing my heavens up. And guess what? You know what I say? It's what they, uh, the country back. That's what it is. I'm storing my treasures up in okay, heaven. You know, your country, your country trying to beat us. And that's what it is. Your country trying to take us over. And Yahweh owns it all. Over. Yahweh owns it all. That's the reason why. Your Yahweh country owns it all. There's no my <laughs> country or your country. Do you believe do you believe in Yeshua Messiah? He shed his blood for you and me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're both right here. We both live in this country. I'm not You believe in Yeshua Messiah? I'm in the United States. I'm American. Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm American. Very good. Thank you. We need to understand what the word of our Creator says, everybody. We need to understand the word of our Creator and what He says. We need to understand that He died for us and shed His blood for us. We need to understand that there's a way to live. It's living righteously. We can only know what living righteously is when we read the word of our Creator and we match it up to our life and compare it. Are we living according to his word? Because if we're not, that is what sin is. Sin is living against the word of our creator. Sin is living against the word of our creator. We have to understand. We have to understand. Sin is living against the words of our Creator. That's what we have to understand. And we have to measure our life up to what the Bible says. And the Bible says, I take no pleasure in the death of wicked people. I only want them to change from their wicked ways so they can live, so they can have life, eternal life with our Savior in the wonderful house in the kingdom of heaven. So that's what we have to understand, folks. We have to understand. There's a way to get there. And I got the microphone so you can hear me just fine. There's a way to get there. And that is accepting Yeshua Messiah and repenting for our sins. Repenting for our sins so we can spend eternity with Him in the beautiful place that's coming. It says in the Bible, Know the truth and the truth will set you free. How many people know the truth? How many people are free? How many people are free today? Or how many people are stuck and trapped, slavery, in this world because they don't know the truth of the Bible? They don't know the word of our Creator. Only when you know the word of our Creator can you be free. It just doesn't say, it doesn't say, be free. It says, know the word of our Creator and you will be free. So you have to know Him and have a personal relationship with Yeshua HaMashiach, Yeshua Messiah. He died for us, He shed His blood for us, and we have to understand what that means, folks. Know the word of our Creator, and the truth will set you free. What is the truth of our Creator? The truth is, He died for us. He shed his blood for us. That is the truth. And that's what he told us. Exactly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Sin is transgression of the Lord, as it says in the Bible. In the Bible it says, sin is transgression of the law. What are they talking about? Sin is living against the words of our Creator. We have an option and we have a choice. You can live according to the way He said, and that is what righteous living is all about. Or we can make the decision to live like this world today and live in sin. And we might have fun while we're here on earth, but we have no fun after our life perishes here on earth. We want an, an internal kingdom. We want to store our treasures up in heaven. And the way we do that, folks, is by accepting 
and understanding Yeshua Messiah. Sorry, you have a question? Yeah, what is God's name? God's name is Yahweh. No, God is everyone's name. God is everyone's name? Exactly. According to... Jesus. According to the Bible, his name is American Bible. He got seven names. What are the seven names, sir? Yeah. I don't want to get into it, but you look it up. Okay. I got it. Is Yahweh is Yahweh one of his names? No. No, I don't want to know. But I don't want to know. And then Okay. Well, what what really counts, folks, no matter what you want to call him. No matter what you want to call him, is that we believe in him. No matter what we want to call him, just call him. That's what I say. I understand you call him Jesus, folks. Hallelujah. That's our Savior who died for us. He died for us. Sir, Jesus is, is the name of our... He is, that's his name. That's his name. Yeshua is the name of Jesus, and he died for us. He died for us. He shed his blood for us. You can call him what you want. The fact is, he died for us. That's what we can't overlook. He has a name. Jesus died for us. Jesus hung on a cross for us. The blood of That's Jesus right. was right. for us. Blood for when we understand what Jesus did for us, we'll have a desire to stop living a sinless, a, a sinful life. And we'll have a desire to stop living the way Jesus told us to live, the way he wanted us to live. I say Yeshua, you say Yesh uh, Jesus. We got to call on him, our Savior, if we want to be saved and stop living in sin. He shed his blood for us. He shed his blood for us. If you want to be saved, repent for your sins. Accept Jesus and you will be saved. Accept Yeshua Messiah. You will be saved. There's still time and time's running out. Time's running out. You have to ask yourself, have you called on him? Have you called on Jesus Messiah? Have you asked him and have you thanked him? For what he's done for you, for shedding his blood for you. The Bible says, Know the truth, and the truth will set you free. No, we're free because of the blood of Yeshua, and only because of the blood. We're free because of the blood of Jesus, we're free. And that's the only reason we're free because he died for us. How many of you would be willing to die for somebody? But when we think what our Savior did for us. Well, Jesus died for all of us so we could have life. Eternal life. Eternal life. We're all family. We're all family. And he died for all of us. If people want to keep living a sinful life and reject Jesus, the Bible says if you reject me before man, I will reject you before my Father. Accept his words. Stop living a lawless life. And you too can have salvation. The great gift of Jesus, you have that opportunity, folks. Don't walk away from it. You need to listen to it. Stop living in sin. Brother, have a good day. Oh, no, you're not. They are. They are. Right behind you. You're not. You're not. They are. They are. Hallelujah. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be like these wonderful people and accept Jesus as your Messiah. Exactly. Hallelujah. These souls need Yeshua, Jesus. They need it. Thank you, sister. Thank you. You see people, what's happening? You see what's happening? Nobody wants, they want to be at this bar behind me. They want to be listening to secular music. They want to be drinking and getting drunk. Well, the scripture says there's no room in the kingdom for drunks. There's no room, room in the kingdom for idolaters. There's no room in the kingdom uh, for people that want to live against his words. You have to accept Yeshua Messiah and repent. Repent from what? Your unholy lifestyle. And you need to start living a righteous lifestyle. And the Bible is the word of our creator and it tells us how to do that. It tells us how to do that. Hallelujah! It tells us what we need to be doing when we need to be doing it, and how we need to be doing it. And the great thing is, we have a choice, and there's still time. 
to accept him, to say, I accept him. He hung on a cross for me. He died for me. And I will accept that and understand what repentance is about and understand, know the truth, and the truth will set you free. You all have a choice, folks. It's up to you. Time's running out, but there's still time left. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Wait.